there was happening everybody so we are rocking episode 4 in the grading series and in today's video we're going to be rocking the skirt block and as you guys know we often do a little quick fix tips for those that would like to just know how to do the skirt quickly get the information get out there and start grading the skirt block I often do the half of the video just to cover the quick fix quick tips for, for you guys and then in the last half of the video we do the step-by-step -step formula in grading the skirt so with that being said we have two blocks in front of us right now we have the front and we have the back and as you guys can see both of them have dots so the formula that we're going to be using on one block can be applied to the other block which is quite cool and with that being said we're only going to be using one block to do the grading and we will be doing that on the front block right so that is the front block so when we do the formula on the front block we can take all of that information and then apply it to the other block which is cool and we also save some time in the video and i've already gone ahead and traced the front block so there we go so we're going to put this block away right but before we do that we're going to be doing the quick fix video for those that just want a quick fix and want to get out there and start grading skirt blocks right so we're going to be doing that right now and i'm going to turn these blocks around and i went ahead and traced or at least drew a skirt block so it's easy for us to follow along so we're going to just lay it on top of our paper and we're going to be talking about this block right now and when it comes to skirts everybody we are we often take five millimeter upwards here five millimeter on the top area and we take we go one centimeter out on the side seam one centimeter from the waistline down the side seam all the way to the hemline of the skirt and at the bottom here we usually add two millimeter but i want you guys to add five millimeter over here as well so five millimeter up top one centimeter on the side seam and five millimeter on the hemline and as you guys know whenever we are dealing with a, a center front line this is a center front line we often don't add anything on the center front line but i've seen some some of my friends and some other videos as well people do add on the on the center front line you can add on the center front line but then what you need to do is you need to sort of half these measurements so if you if we were going to do one centimeter you can split it in half and add the other five millimeter there and another five millimeter here but we're going to save time and just weigh everything we're going to push everything on the side seam right so let's jump into it right now because the, this is a quick fix video so we're going to go five millimeter up so on the in the front line here we want to measure up five millimeter and here on the dot here we also want to measure up five millimeter so five millimeter up and then we're just going to connect, connect these points so five millimeter following the dot line as well and then on the waistline five millimeter and then we extend by one centimeter because why our side seam is one centimeter we extend by one five but one we measure up five but we extend by one and then we go one centimeter down the side seam over here all the way down and then over here on the hemline we want to measure five millimeter down so you measure five millimeter down you square across and then right on to where the center front meets and that's as easy as it goes guys this is my medium size this is my large size and now we want to have the extra large so now we measure another from this point from the large point we measure another five millimeter up then we measure up here five millimeter on the dot then we connect those points there we go we go across and then from that line we measure one centimeter out because our side seam is one centimeter and then we just connect this point so which means you can measure here as well so that you can have an even line going all the way down then here we need to measure five millimeter down because it's five millimeter longer and then we go across and then we end on the center front as well again and that's as easy as it is mr and mrs freestylers out there that's what you guys want to do and that's how extra large there we go and now the only thing for us to do now is just to talk about uh, maybe the small so if you want to go small on the inside because if we're going outside you measure outwards right to make it bigger but now because we're going smaller we have to measure on the inside so now we're going to go five millimeter here inward 
we measure in five millimeter and we measure out uh, inward again one centimeter and then we just connect those points five millimeter one centimeter i'm using purple again give me a maybe a red yeah there we go one centimeter all around the curve on the set on the side seam remember we're going five millimeter up here so we stop five millimeter above go five millimeter across against the center front that's what we want so here on the waistline we go across five millimeter and then we go up yeah five up down sorry and then we go cross five and then we stop onto the center front and then of course you can just draw in your dots as well so it's easier for you to copy when you start copying these patterns onto other paper and there we go guys that's it for the quick fix video and all of this information you just apply to the back so this is the front and then all of the information here just apply to the back and there we go that is how you grade a skirt on the freestyle way cool so now for all of those that's going to follow on the step by step let's get down to business <laughs> all right everybody so we're getting down to business like i said so we already traced the front so we're going to put the back away and as you guys know we're going to go up here five millimeters so i'm the right there five millimeter and then we're going to go outward one centimeter and then we're going to go down five millimeter as well and that's really all that it is to it to this block and we're just going to use our pencil, uh, our pen and our ruler. Keep our block close by. <clears throat> so here we go. So we're going to measure from here, 5 millimeter up. On the center front line, we measure 5 up. So basically what you can do is you can actually draw a line up. Just a rough line up. So you're going to have a baseline to work on, right? So we measure 5. There we go. That's the first 5. And then we continue. 5. And then what I usually do, I take my ruler and just pull, draw this line upwards from the dot. So we can have a baseline there as well to work with. So what you want to do on that line, you want to measure five up. And another five up. And so on and so forth, because you will be grading five up as you go in with bigger sizes, right? So there we go. And then over here, I like to also just I have a point of reference over there. On the dot you don't need to but it's all good to just have extras yeah five here and five on this point here of the side seam and the waistline and then here on the side seam we go one centimeter out there we go and then so on and so forth and at the bottom here we go five millimeter down Another one over here and nothing on the center front and there we go so now all that we need to do now is just connect these points and luckily we have the block so we can just move the block up you see what's happening to the dot i just move my existing dot up to touch the five millimeter point once i touch that point all that i need to make sure is that my center front is touching the other line so that i can connect those points evenly here yeah? so there we go so now once I'm in line, I can just copy these lines over. That's all that it is to it. And then just shifting it down a little bit. So it can touch the other the, the points that I've made. And there we go, everybody. And now we just have to tackle the side seam. We can go according to the curve that we already have on the existing block. There we go. Copy that line further up curving it on the side seam there and then making sure that these points are all in line once they are lined up we just connect these points all the way down to the bottom here on the hemline and there we go et voila voici there we go five millimeter one centimeter five millimeter that's it and then all that we need to do is just raise the dot up put the dot back up there and make sure that your grain lines are in place there we go and then you just highlight the the new dot point and all that you need to do is just copy the dots over which means those lines and 
there we go everybody and now to increase it from medium to large to extra large we do the same thing so ruler again now we have this baseline we meet we measure another five millimeter up on this line we've already measured the five millimeter we want to copy it on the dot as well there we go five millimeter on the waistline again here another five on the edge of this waistline and side seam, we want to measure another five and then one centimeter. Boom. How cool is this, man? It's really that simple, guys. All the way down. A quick tip on the, the measurements for bigger size. If you are going bigger sizes, like triple X or double X or XL. You want to then increase by one centimeter. So which means your seam, your graded seam here becomes 1.5 to 2 centimeters wide. If you are going beyond XL. Because it, still from, from, X, from L large to XL, we just grade five at, uh, 1 centimeter. And then anything from XL to XXL, we measure 1.5 to 2 centimeters. Because, I mean, we're working bigger sizes, right? So you can increase the value of your fixed measurements. And our fixed measurements was one centimeter. You can increase it as you go. Cool. There we go. So now we just use the existing block to copy in these lines. So that we can make it fit with the, make the shape fit with the basic block. There we go. And everything that we are doing on this block, we can copy over to the other block, which is the back. And the dots, the way that we, the formula on the dot there, we use the same formula and apply that to the dots on the back, on the back panel. And there we go, everybody. Almost done. So again, like I've been saying on the previous videos, you really want to make sure that your basic block is on a hardboard um, pattern, on a hardboard paper, so it's easy for you to trace. Otherwise, when it's on paper, it becomes a little bit flimsy, yeah? And there we go, everybody. So I'll be writing on here, that's medium, this is large, and then that's extra large. Cool, how are we doing for time? Are we good for time? There we go. So, if we are now decreasing this to make it from medium to a small, what do we do? We now just decrease those measurements. So, our fixed measurement on top is 5mm, our fixed on the side is 1cm, our fixed at the bottom is 5mm. So, now we're just going to decrease those values, meaning we're going to go inward with that value. So, up top here, we're now going to drop five millimeter so let's drop five millimeter real quick there we go and also with the dot you want to drop five millimeter yeah so this line here gets a five millimeter cut there we go and then of course to zero to your center front we don't go beyond the center front line and then here because we're dealing with the size seam, we go one centimeter. We still maintain that one centimeter seam um, graded line on the side seam. There we go. And then here on the hemline, we go inward five millimeter. There we go. There we go. And we're gonna do that. Sorry guys, this microphone is crazy. We're gonna do that hopefully in a different color, maybe in red. So it's easy for you guys to see that that's a smaller size. So what we want to do, we first want to copy the dot in. So I'm moving it up. There we go. Once the dot is in, now I'm going to shift it to fit the one centimeter on the side seam here, you see, and the five millimeter on top. There we go. And now that everything is fit, we can just copy the lines in. Cool. 
and here on the front or at least on the waistline we connect those points there we go and the only the only thing we need to do still is the is the hemline come on there we go lining them up There we go, everybody. So that is how small, medium, small, large, extra large. And that's all that it is to grading a skirt, everybody. Stick to your fixed measurements. If you are doing anything beyond extra large, it becomes 1.5 to 2 centimeters extra on the side seam. And then, of course, on the waistline, it becomes 1 centimeter. And then on the hemline, it becomes 1 centimeter. And that's all that it is to grading a skirt. Thanks for watching everybody, I'll catch you in episode 5 next. Peace.